What's up guys, Sportshot here, and if you need more KR in Krunker, I'm going to be showing you guys the best ways to get more KR. But before we get into it, you guys should subscribe and hit that bell notification button because I am going to be posting more tutorials just like this on how to get better at Krunker and how to get more KR and points, how to level up faster, all that good stuff. So just remember to hit that bell notification button if you want to be notified of those videos. Anyway, let's get right into it. Alright, so first off, I'm just going to get the obvious out of the way here. You want to get at least 3,000 points per game. Now, I can't just tell you to get better at the game, because that usually doesn't work. You can't just tell somebody to learn something, and they won't just instantly learn it. So if you guys do want more tutorials on how to get better at the game, um, I have movement and aiming and a few different other tutorials. Um, I will link down in the description, so if you guys want to uh, check out those and get better at the game, to get those 3,000 points per round, then I will... Um, They'll be in the description. So next, I'm going to be showing you guys um, a little thing called challenge mode here. Now, this is probably the best thing if you want to be farming KR. So once you are good at the game, or at least relatively decent, um, you're going to want to turn on challenge mode and wait until you get into a new round. So now that we have loaded into a new match with competitive mode, or challenge mode actually on, um, you will notice one thing right off the bat, you only have 50 health um, at maximum capacity and also you cannot regenerate any of your health. So you are stuck at half health, no regeneration. Now that is your nerf. What about your buff? Your buff is that you get 50% extra KR at the end of every round and I will show you that um, by showing you the scoreboard at the end of this round. Alright, so... Um, how this works is for every 100 points that you get, you get 1 KR normally, and that is rounded down to the nearest whole number. Now you can see I got my extra 50% KR, so instead of getting 29 KR, I got 43. And that is a really big difference, especially when you start playing 2, 3, 4 games, that will add up to a lot of extra KR. So if you want to get even more KR per game, and you play Krunker as your primary game, it is probably worth it to go into shop and then click on premium. So you can get premium here, um, 7500 KR for 30 days, and you can see it gets cheaper um, per month if you buy it in larger increments. Um, so essentially what this does is um, you have to pay into it, but it will allow you to get 40 KR per round, and you also get a chance to win every month. Um, you get one entry into winning 5,000 or 50,000 KR, my bad. Um, out of everybody else who also has premium, so I would really suggest getting it. Because not only um, if you do win this, it can pay for itself many times over, but also if you do play um, Krunker a lot, you can get up to um, 40kr per round base, and if you do play with challenge mode on, you can end up getting around 6,000, uh, no not 6,000 KR per game, I can't do numbers right now, you can get 60 KR per game if you get only 3,000 score, and that basically doubles the amount that you would normally get without challenge mode or premium. So if you do play this game a lot, it will be very profitable to get Krunker premium. Alright, so correction to the last point that I made um, with the Krunker premium, you can only get um 40 kr per game without challenge mode if you get 4000 score per game not 3000 um it doesn't give you a multiplier it just increases your score cap that translates into kr so now that we are at the crunker market i'm going to be showing you guys how to sell your skins and how to trade skins so what you can do is if you just want to quick sell a whole bunch of skins and you don't really care about getting the best price you just need kr really fast what I recommend you do is you go to the bottom here with all of these um, really like common skins and you just try to find ones that would go for really cheap on the market. Like you do not want to quick sell a 766 KR skin or a 125 KR skin. This Bark Auto right here that is around 6 KR you can quick sell. Um, it would be viable and you can just sell that. You get 1 KR now that's not that much. But if you do have some slightly more rare skins like this, I'm going to find something that I have a duplicate um, of this Blaze Python. You can quick sell that, you get 10 KR. Um, so if you are fine with clearing out a whole bunch of your skins, then go ahead and do that. Um, now I do not recommend this, it's not cost efficient at all whatsoever. But if you do need a lot of KR really fast for something, then this is an option. Now, a better option is to sell stuff on the market, and I'm going to be showing you guys the ins and outs of doing that right now. 
So um, I'm gonna go to list right here. So this is how you actually list an item. But before you do that, you wanna check the actual prices. So what you wanna do is go to info, and then you want to go to find, and you'll be able to sell, or you'll be able to see the ones that are up for sale right now. So I'm just gonna wait for this to load. Okay, here we are. So we can see cheapest one right here is 259. Um, what you can do is you can um, either sell one for slightly under that price, so yours uh, sells faster, or sell one for the same price. Um, so you get a, you will get a sale, but you will also get it for hundreds, maybe even thousands of times more than the quick sale will give you. I really recommend doing this if you want to make big amounts of KR. Now, um, what you can do, another option, is now this isn't really a viable tactic um, with this skin because there is these two blocking it up. Um, but essentially what you can do is you can click purchase on this uh, 260 KR one and then resell it for around 270 KR like this one. But we, what you wanna do is you wanna find, um, if possible, find a skin that is really cheap compared to all the rest of them. And then you can buy it and sell it at a slightly higher price and you can make decent KR doing that. Now, that is how people like, um, we go into the leaderboards here, um, into Crunkies, you will see that some of these people, like probably this guy, let's check, market sales right here, you can see, he made around 928,000. That is almost a million. KR in just the last month and if we go to 120 days he made 1.2 million KR that is unobtainable if you're just trying to get it through playing the game this guy does a lot of market flipping as you can tell and um, I would suggest um, trying to learn the ins and outs of the market it will be complex and difficult at first I haven't done it um, but this is just my little tutorial on it so if you guys do want to make a lot of KR really fast this is a way to do it now I would, um, I'm going to show you guys again how to do that, so just go into the market, um, go and just basically look for a skin, I'm going to see if I can find an example of a good flipper. Alright, so here is a very, very good example of um, a decent item to flip. So you can see right here, this item right here is only going for sale for 1600 KR compared to the next cheapest one for 1800 KR. You can um, buy this for uh, 1600 and then sell it for maybe around 1780 about. And you'll be slightly undercutting this person so people will naturally want to purchase from you. Um, and basically what you can do is you can make around 100, 120 care from just that one transaction. Now I'm not actually going to do it because I already have this skin. And I don't want to take the risk of it not selling, so I'm just not going to do it. Plus, I don't really uh, like spending a lot of time on the market. But if you do want to make a lot of KR, then you can spend time on the market looking for stuff just like this that you want to flip. Now I'm going to be getting into what makes a good trade and how to make money off of trades. Or KR, not money. Alright, so I have two trades right now. I'm going to open this one. So you can see that this is a really bad trade because I am losing about a thousand KR. Um, that is because this guy wants 2,500 about um, KR or items worth that much KR. And he's giving me about 1,500 um, worth of items back. And that's not worth it. So I'm going to decline that. What you want is you want this number right here on the left to be um, smaller than the number on the right. And if the number on the right is bigger, then it's a good trade. So I'm gonna decline that, and I'm not gonna look at this guy's profile. I'm gonna go back to my trades, misclicked there. And you can see that this is also a really horrible trade, so I'm gonna decline that as well. Now, as you can probably tell, I don't play this game for the KR, but I know how to get it. Um, you can see I made this horrible trade just because I didn't like this skin and I liked these skins um, because I use these skins. Um, but I made a few trades. Um, I used to trade for KR. You can see I got... Um, actually, wait. I think that's a bad trade. I think that was another case of I just like the skin, give it. Um, 
yeah right here you can see I made not that much KR but you can see this number is a lot bigger so I did make KR for that and if we go here you can see this um, is a good trade as well go down here you can see why did I make this trade why okay this is a good trade right here but I did make some questionable trades this is a really good trade actually I almost tripled my KR up to 1600 well more than actually and um, this is also a very good trade when I got that revolver I got um, this almost 20,000 KR revolver for only about 5,000 KR well about 6,000 um, so yeah those are some good and bad trades that I've made just to give you guys a perspective all right that's gonna be about it for this video thank you guys for watching and if you do have any questions remember to put them in the comments down below I will answer them within a day or two and if you guys did learn something from this video or you like this video remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification button because I will be putting videos like this out about every week so yeah it's gonna be about it thanks for watching